In the small town of Worthington, Minnesota, a huge child labor bust occurred this past fall. Federal authorities found 22 teens working dangerous and illegal jobs at this pork processing plant. We knew. James Callahan has been the priest at St. Mary's Catholic Church for more than 12 years. How long did you know that there were young people working those jobs? Oh, since I've been here. I mean, this isn't something new. 12 years? Yeah, and even before. But the secret was not confined to this one community. Scripps News discovered the Minnesota Attorney General's office also was aware of possible trouble. The office learned of a potential problem in January 2020 from a tip passed along by teachers at Worthington High School. They had noticed some of their immigrant students were unusually tired. They suspected they were working overnights at the pork plant. A short time later, the Attorney General's office sent a Spanish-speaking investigator to Worthington High School to try to figure out what was going on. The investigator met face-to-face -face with students in a classroom here and told them about U.S. child labor laws. She asked if they had anything they wanted to tell her. The students didn't want to talk about where they worked, where they went at night, or why they were so tired. With nothing from the students to go on, the AG's office hit a dead end. It would take almost three more years before the U.S. Labor Department conducted its raid in Worthington. Our Scripps News investigation in March detailed how that crackdown unfolded. It began with a report about a 13-year-old suffering a chemical burn while working for a contractor at a beef plant in Nebraska. Investigators soon fanned out and discovered underage employees at meat processing locations across the country, including Worthington. All the children worked for the same food sanitation company called Packer Sanitation Services, Inc., or PSSI. This training video offers a glimpse of the kind of work the kids were doing. We learned in Worthington, children used multiple different types of chemicals to scrub equipment like pig neck breakers and bone split saws. Did you ever think of calling the police or the Department of Labor or someone over the years to, to stop this? Mm -hmm. No, because my first concern was for the individuals. It wasn't to make a policy change. The Labor Department has not released personal details about the underage workers, but Callahan told us some of the child laborers he knows personally were what are called unaccompanied minors, those who are processed by the U.S. government after crossing the border without a parent or guardian. We found out Worthington has seen quite a few unaccompanied minors recently. A Scripps News data analysis found Nobles County, where Worthington is located, received 150 unaccompanied minors in 2022. That's more than any other place in America when you account for population size. The Department of Labor recently warned a surge of unaccompanied children in this country may be working illegal jobs in violation of child labor laws. Is there anyone else we should talk to around here? We went with a Spanish language interpreter to dozens of homes in Worthington. Take care. Thank you very much. No one said they knew any of the kids found working at the plant. So we sat down with local immigration attorney Aaron Shudy Wudzinski, who has worked with more than 100 unaccompanied minors and their sponsors in this area. It's important not to make the leap in assuming that the children who were working in the plant are unaccompanied children. There's a checklist in here you were mentioning? There is a checklist. So she showed us some of the paperwork the Department of Health and Human Services requires of sponsors before they're permitted to receive a child. The sponsors who I see at my law firm are responsible individuals who have the best interest at heart for these kids. Do you follow up with them? Do you know what their life is like months down the road? I do have periodic check-ins months on end and it's often a, a multi-year professional relationship that that i have with with the unaccompanied children and their sponsors but nationwide concerns about the potential exploitation of unaccompanied minors have captured the attention of u.s senator Catherine cortez masto from nevada we have some kids that are coming into this country they are then being placed with some sort of sponsor or somebody uh, and nobody is looking out for their best interest after that placement. She and some of her Senate colleagues recently sent this letter to the Biden administration asking whether unaccompanied minors are being placed with exploitative sponsors and forced to work long hours in dangerous conditions. 
Since 2018, we've learned there's been a 69% increase in illegally employed children in this country. What will it take, do you think, for your colleagues in the Senate and the House to take real concrete action? How many more cases do we need to uncover of child labor before Washington really gets it? We're not letting this go. We are taking action, and I want answers. We don't have answers yet, but we are, I'm going to bird dog this. We've got to have answers. We've got to make sure that these kids, that they're taken care of and their best interests are looked at. But for now, Congress has not yet acted on a request from the Biden administration for more funding to police child labor in communities across the country. Now, just tonight, about an hour ago, we got a statement from HHS. They say that they are increasing efforts to vet sponsors of unaccompanied children. Meanwhile, the Department of Labor says it has 600 open child labor cases right now. And they also say that they're trying to focus on those cases where they think child labor is happening, but also where they think that people are keeping it a secret. That is exactly what we found was happening in Worthington, Chance. And it's sad to think of these kids alone thinking I have to keep the secret. But Patrick, is there a delineation in the debate and in the law, I guess, when it comes to the type of job? Because my brothers, they started bagging groceries at 14 years old. You know, that was normal. It was a good job, which seems different than cleaning a, a pig neck breaker. That's exactly right. And in fact, when we took a look at the data as far as what kind of child labor cases the Labor Department focuses on, we found those kind of jobs like at restaurants, cafes, a lot of the jobs we think of as summer jobs. What we didn't see much is on these other kind of jobs in meat packing plants. And these jobs are different because federal law says that they are simply too dangerous for anyone under the age of 18. Those jobs, cleaning a meat packing plant, that entails getting under big equipment and using caustic chemicals, Chance.